By the way, if you get a new brush, the reason they're stiff is because of the starch in there. So what I do is I just, I get it wet and I just kind of push. You don't want to, you know, get too aggressive with it. You break. You just, there's starch in it. You want to just slowly work that out. Actually, the starch can serve uh, to, to to be a medium to. Uh, it, it actually uh, looks yeah. as a binder. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like adding glue to the water. I mean, yeah. You when you dilute it, you yeah. you, you have more body. Uh, yeah. yeah. I just squeeze out to the new brush. That can also work. Okay. Now here's why I don't really clean up my palette because I've got a gray right there and I didn't even have to make it. So then I'll add a little bit of blue to that. I think I think I'm going to do my um, my my sky after. Maybe a little bit bluer than that. Ooh. Yummy cobalt. A little bit different technique in watercolor. Might be better to go for a little more contour. Here's a secret, edge. This down here, keep it wet. So you don't get this big hard line. At the base. I'll have something just a little bit warmer coming at me and a little bit darker over there. Look at all the hairs in there. It's a new brush. Yeah, but in Chinese painting, you don't worry about stuff like that, right? You could just pick it up later. Let me tell you what, the way I was trained to, my teachers always said, just leave it in. Bugs, leave them in. Anything that's <laughs> pertaining to painting, leave it in. It's, it's a... Uh, it's an original painting look. Yeah, you're trying to remind the viewer that it's a painting. You're not... Yeah. It's, it's unlike... You know, that's the... Uh, our, that's the... The legacy from classicism, okay? Yeah. Again, nothing against classicism, but but in a way, you're trying to do a lot of the opposite things of classicism, in the sense that that was a storytelling medium, and you were mostly about um, it was mostly about covering up all your brush strokes. That's why a classical painter will always try to cover everything up. Because they don't want to ruin the fantasy. Let's take this one cut it. So and emphasis talking. on stroke. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Emphasis on the stroke too. And that, and we got that from the Chinese. Yeah. That's Western painting around the, well, right around the Industrial Revolution, that's when Western painters are searching around. They're trying to find different yeah. reasons to paint, different different ideas about style. Because they're, you know, they're having to compete with this camera thing. A little bluer here. Do that now. Now, again, keeping a wet edge. I'm gonna take it all the way down. Bob, so, wow, why didn't you just spray the whole thing wet? For um, because that would have made everything go everywhere. I'm gonna add a little, a few little warms up here. 
to the front of this. What happens is that the this will push the other colors aside and, and leave it over. See, that wasn't that warm when they first put it down and it'll still get warmer. Okay, now I'm gonna hit this, this other front one there and I want it to be quite a bit darker. Of course, it'll all dry lighter, right? Watercolor, so you have to... And I might come back and reinforce that edge a couple of times. As time goes by. Then I'm going to hit myself some light on that mountain, maybe a little bit redder than that, maybe a little bit more orange here. Just to, sometimes I'll even put that down with, with the stroke, with the uh, with the angle of the plane. And I might come back and reinforce a couple of those uh, these shadows a little darker. Maybe I'll just do that now. So, so I'm like coming down, downhill with this with the shadow there, right? And then I'll I'll throw. No, I'll lose most of that because the water will dissolve it. But you'll get a little bit. It shows. It just shows the direction of the plane, that's all good. Take some Prussian blue. Ooh, quinacridone yellow. Try it, you'll like it. And if you can say quinacridone on the first try, I can't even say it. Quinacridone. Cute. <laughs> You're better than me. I know, really. starting to curl up on me. A little birdie told me once that you should wet the back of the paper. <laughs> so smart. How come? Why do you wet the back? Wet the back of the paper. And it stops curling? It... Yeah. I probably should have done that first. That does help. Okay. All right. Good enough. We got work to do, and and then toward the back. See how toward the back edge gets foggy because of the atmosphere. So let's just keep that edge a little grayer. So you can gray it with a little bit of red. I wanted that trail in there like that when I put it in. I'm just adding water to this right here. And I'm taking my rag and I'm wiping that out. And I can add something kind of warm to that if I like. I have a lot of water on there. So. It might get a little out of control. That might be a good thing. Ooh, I love that sound. And this is uh, not dry, but it's dry enough to do some dry brushing on. So I get my brush dry-ish. What I do is I just push it down like that. And if it spreads, I know it's dry enough to do dry brush. Just touch. Some dark stuff. Whoops. The base. Spread it. Mm. 
you can get all kinds of little interesting things happening along this edge right there. Maybe a little bluer than that. Oh, I really like this brush. I don't even have to try. Why do I? I don't know why I use it. That got a little dark on me. It's a calligraphy brush. A calligraphy? Yeah. Oh. He, he just, uh, he, he's just, this uh, new brush he never used it before. Yeah. yeah. It's named after a Chinese uh, calligraphy master. Oh, really? uh, and he invented the rat whisker brush. Yeah, it's a name of kind. Of, it's like like stiff. I mean, uh, that that just you know, it's category name for the stiff brush. So he yeah he uses he prefers stiff brush. That's a stiff brush. Uh, supposed to be rat whisker. <laughs> rat whisker. <laughs> yeah, it's different size, different. Uh, um, Lens and the diame diameters. Shadows there. Something a little bit, a little bit dark at the base. You can see right there. And then I'll just dry brush that, spread the bristle, and pull up. Let the brush do the work. It wants to. It was designed to do that. Here are some of these guys in the foreground. There's all, gosh, there's all this warm stuff happening. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip in and see what happens here. Okay, Rob, maybe a bit off more than you can chew. Yeah. And here's the thing you can do with this brush that's much harder to do with that big fat orange, uh, orange, the big uh, oil brush. Is I can just. Just a tip. Yeah. Oh man, just look at that. It's like a rigger. <laughs> yeah. Really smack a couple of darks in the bottom of that. I can even a few light things in there too. Just make it too ridiculous. Just pull, pull stuff over them because that's what happens. I just was looking for something in the foreground there. Oh, that's dramatic. A little bit of warmth in that sky. Isn't that great? We get a great shot here. Wow. It was really fun looking from the parking lot. It was yeah. A perfect shot, but too far away from my camp, my camera. That's it. probably what they saw when they invited us to do the show. Remember, she said she wrote about that. Oh no. So, uh, wow, that's nice. Now I can just let the water do it, and I'm just gonna take it right over the mountain, right over, and then just. Remember, your, your brush will act like a sponge, too, if you get all the water out of it, yeah. it picks it up. So.
So now I gave that, that, that background mountain plenty of time to... And then write your signature. I do. I do like that one. So you still get some of the dark. Uh -huh. Oh, I see light over dark. Yeah. Here and there, you know, in here, uh -huh. if you like. Okay, thank you. There's some really yummy things happening in there. Again, what, what happens is you, if you lay some, some paint on there and let the paint just do its thing and then lay more paint on top of it and let it do its thing, you'll get overlapping layers of just this very natural. I try to achieve that in my paintings all the time, right there. 